Good morning, my lovely, lovely Libra, my cross watcher, my channel fan. How are you? It is Lori, and I'm here to do a daily reading for you. I want to remind you, I am going live this afternoon on January 21st, 2024 at 3.30 p.m., 3.33 to be exact. Um, so if you would like to join me, please make sure that you set an alarm or that you click on the uh, notification button uh, here on YouTube, okay? I hope to see you guys, everybody there. And just so you know, next week I will be going on live at 1.11 because you guys were equally split between 1 o'clock and 3 o'clock. All right, so let's get into your message here. You have the Empress energy as your overall daily energy. I'm going to let that sit right there and grow. We're going to start, we're going to rewind, and we're going to ring the little chimes and invite in some fun light energy. We're also going to roll this zodiac die. All right, Libra, you have just rolled. Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius, Virgo, Aries, and Gemini. Okay, now those are probably placements within your own birth chart, but they could be the signs of other people that you're dealing with. All right, so your overall energy for this daily message is going to be the Empress energy. You're feeling creative, abundant, joyful, um, happy, content. <clears throat> you feel like you are right where you're supposed to be you feel loved and you feel loving and caring beautiful energy here and i love it whenever i see the empress energy card come out here because the channel name is your em empress energy and it's all about you taking back and claiming this energy whether you're male or female it's about being willing to give and receive and that receive part is the important part knowing who you are and that you deserve to have a happy, abundant, joyful life. Let's go ahead and see what challenges there might be to this uh, beautiful feeling, this beautiful energy that you have here. Some of you are creating new things. Um, some of you may be finding out you're pregnant, new businesses, building something. I'm, I just saw a new... Um, front porch and then I saw a deck on the back of somebody's house so there could be some sort of construction going on around you by choice it's your choice um, something you are working on you might have contractors in but it's your choice to do this all right let's go ahead and see what is a, a possible obstacle to this to your happiness your bliss you're receiving your creativity here let's see what comes out I hope you guys are all happy, healthy, and having some fun because life is meant to be an adventure. We have to go through those low points in order to appreciate the happy and good points. All right, let's see what we've got here. We've got the High Priestess. There could be something that you don't see, don't know. As an obstacle... It's, it doesn't feel like a, a big deal. It feels more like um, oh, minor. It just feels minor. Like you don't know something and it's going to pop up and you're going to be like, oh, I didn't know that. So this doesn't feel big. Um, <clears throat> it could be about a permit if you're building something. It could be that you can't mix two things together. And that's funny. I was thinking like a chemical reaction. But what I actually got, uh, the visual that was sent to me was of a, a booth at a festival, a fair, a craft fair, something along that line. And two different types of items within one booth. A lot of times they don't allow that. So it, it just, it's minor, okay? It's not a big deal, whatever this obstacle is. It's going to be quickly overcome, especially if you just take a deep breath and let it be. You'll just go about and handle it. Now, that could be a challenge at work. 
That could be a challenge at home. It could be any type of situation. So like if you're if you are getting ready to have children and you just found out you're pregnant, I'm getting a message such as um, you find out that you're actually going further along than you thought you were. Okay, so originally maybe you thought you were uh, a month pregnant. All of a sudden you find out you're actually three, four months pregnant. And that kind of steps up your timeline on what you have to get done. It's not a big deal. You can do it. You still have another five, six months <laughs> before the baby comes. It's just a minor bump in the road here. All right, so take that as it resonates. And if it can apply to a relationship that you are inquiring about, you know, like a romantic relationship or a friendship, if you can correlate that, make it um, make sense, then that message is for you too. Otherwise, just leave it for who it's meant for. All right, let's see what else is going to come out here. Let's see what's on your mind. How are you thinking about this situation? What is on your mind? What will be on your mind, I guess? Oh, come on. See how many cards are trying to flip there? It was like 20 cards. All right. So, on your mind is justice, okay? Finding that balance. Now, it did come out in the reverse, but I'm not going to take it that way. Spirit's just saying something that feels like it's out of balance is going to come into balance. So, you're thinking about how you can make this right how you can fix this situation. It's not a big deal. It really is not. And you will quickly find your equilibrium. You'll find that balance. I am getting a message here about duality. You do have the Gemini energy on here. So some of you may have to take a little bit longer to think about how to bring this back into balance, but it's not going to be. It could be a month for some of you, depending on what situation you are in. But you do find that balance. You do find the justice. You find the fairness, a compromise, um, a solution. And you find it pretty quickly. Some of you just find your equilibrium again pretty quickly. All right. Let's go ahead and see what the foundation of this message is. Of this situation and this message. What's the foundation here, please? Yeah, see, you don't have all the answers. And this is a two, two of swords. The high priestess is the two, so you have double twos here. This is about trusting your higher intuition. Oh, and I just noticed the justice is 11, which is another two, okay? So you have two, 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 alignment. You are, things are going to fall into place exactly as they're meant to. I'm also hearing you will see something clearly pretty quickly here. Okay, you may have missed something while you were having fun. Okay, so it, nothing major here. Like I said, things were good. Things are still good. But you may have just overlooked something or you didn't know it was coming. Okay, but now the, the blinders coming off. You're receiving the message. You're getting it. Beautiful. And you are falling into alignment and things are happening in the divine timing that they're meant to. So that's the foundation there. So this is actually, uh, yeah, and there's absolutely nothing bad here. Oh, what have we got for your immediate future? We've got the Four of Wands. I almost dropped the card. Well, I did drop the card and I picked it up. Four of Wands, happiness, joy, success, alignment, marriages, contracts, commitment, fun, music, dancing, celebration, connections, um, Oh, reaping your rewards, I'm hearing. This is beautiful. Expansion and growth just came through, too. Stability. Open, open arms, open fields. Something about open fields, like travel, possibly, planting. Yeah, the, the fields are fertile for new growth, for expansion, to grow something new and different, unique, and beautiful. And that may be you growing, okay? It could be a child. A, a child is always unique. Every single human being is unique. There are no two exactly alike. 
And I know I've been told I, I was uh, Mariah Carey's doppelganger for many years. Um, and I've had other people that, to me, look just like me. Um, but that they're not me. They don't have the same personality. I am not like Mariah Carey at all. Okay, so every person, even though there may be similarities in looks or the way we sound or the way we speak, we're all still very unique. All right, let's go ahead and see what your past influences were in this situation. What past influence is infect infecting? <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> What past influence is affecting or affecting? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let's see what's going on here. Besides me losing it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> there we go. Page of Swords. So you heard something. You got some information. You did some homework. You did some research. You thought, okay, so that's what the past influence is, is you thought you had all the information you needed, that you did all the homework, and you did. You did everything you could. There was nothing that you neglected. You just did not know this thing, okay? And there was no way of you knowing this thing until you know it. All right. Yeah, one of my favorite sayings is, is don't beat yourself up about not knowing something, okay? Now, if you're truly neglecting knowing something, that's one thing. But if you don't know something and you find out, don't beat yourself up because we don't know what we don't know until we actually do know it, okay? So as the knowledge comes to you, use that knowledge to your benefit. But don't beat yourself up because you didn't know something, Here's how you're viewing yourself in this situation. The lovers aligned, whole, complete, very romantic here for some of you, especially those of you ready to have children or finding out you're having children. Now, there is also, I'm hearing a very strong business partnership here, okay? You could be uh, spouses. You could be siblings. There's definitely a connection there, okay? it's It doesn't feel like doesn't feel like strangers, and we can't say strangers because obviously you wouldn't go into business with somebody who's a stranger, but it does definitely feel like soulmate energy here. All right, so you are in alignment. You feel right with whoever you're dealing with. You feel right with yourself, possibly just your higher power, whatever it is, the lover's card there, that is beautiful energy. Beautiful All right, let's go ahead and see what's going on around you concerning this situation. What is happening in your environment? What is happening for you, around you? Knight of Swords. Um, you're about to receive some sort, no, you're about to send out some sort of invite, message, I keep seeing a whole stack of like invitations, handwritten invitations. So I'm getting a message about a grand opening, the announcement of uh, a baby shower. Okay, so maybe, yeah, this is you. I do feel this is you, but for a couple of you, this could be a sibling um, who may be having a baby and you're planning some sort of baby shower for them. There is definitely an announcement, word going out. Some people are not going to take this information easily. Okay, it may come across a little too quick for them, too sudden, um, too early. Maybe in their mind they feel like it's too early for you to be announcing uh, your pregnancy or your marriage or a business opening. Don't worry about what other people think, okay? You just go ahead and do what's right for you. As long as you know you're not doing anything incorrectly, like you don't want to get the cart or the horse in front of the cart. You want to do things the right way. But this, whoever this is that's struggling with this information, hearing this news, that's their issue. That's not yours. I don't feel like it's you. 
All right, let's go ahead and see what your hopes and your fears might be here. Hopes and or fears. What's happening here? Is there anything for you to concern yourself with? Don't forget to tickle tap, boop or zap that like button. Claim this in the comments if it's your message. Or if you just love this energy, go ahead and do all of those things. And if you are a returning viewer and you have not yet subscribed, I would invite you to do so. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome. I hope you find something that resonates with you and that you come back in the future. And at some point, you subscribe to the channel. All right. Either way, if you're a returning viewer, new viewer, I love all of you to pieces. Thank you for spending your time here. Everyone is always welcome in this place and space. All right, let's see what is going on here. Four of Pentacles, stability, protection. Okay, yeah, you, you are wanting to do the very best that you can do to preserve what you have because this is beautiful whatever you're dealing with here it is beautiful now because we do have this knight of swords right above this four of pentacles i am getting a little bit of energy of um almost seven of wands versus four of pentacles it's like you're just not going to involve yourself with that person whoever that one person is okay there is just somebody Maybe their name will come out with a letter die. I don't know. But anyways, I would not worry about it. Okay, just reserve your energy. Preserve your energy. Don't get involved in negative um, situations with people who it does not matter. You do have the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, so this could concern work or it could just be everything working out in your favor. All right, let's go ahead and see what your most likely outcome is going to be. Look at this, the Knight of Cups. A romantic connection here, a feeling of wholeness, you taking care of yourself, the Knight of Cups, okay? There's a white steed taking the truth, moving forward. Um, yeah, this is definitely about you taking care of yourself here, especially right after this Four of Pentacles, which I'm noticing you have double fours, you have triple twos, But this, this Knight of Cups is about you taking care of yourself, but there could be romantic love coming in here. Partnerships, commitments, somebody cares enough to share the same energy that you are giving out. Okay, beautiful. Let's get another card here for the outcome. Yeah, I knew it. Somebody else is going to feel left out um worried stressed out i knew that was coming out too i knew it was either going to be the eight of swords or the nine of swords um the ten would have been perfect because that tells me that you're past it somebody here is going to have to face their fears all right and that may be concerning a romantic relationship or you know what i'm hearing is somebody out there one of you is fearing Having to take care of themselves. You're quite capable. You may think you can't do it. You can absolutely do it. Take it one breath at a time. Would you look at how this card came out? And I'm sitting here still shuffling, and it was just sitting there balanced. Look, you have all the resources within you. And if you don't have it within you, you will know where to go to get the resources that you need. You have support. Okay, the magician does not do everything on their own. They have to pull different resources together. Fire, earth, um, air, and water all have to be combined with spirit, okay? So this could be an element of co-creating. It could also be um, looking at these different people that in your life that may be able to help you. All right. Oh, look at that. Death and rebirth. Letting the old go and something beautiful coming in. And that's you standing right there in your element. Queen of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. So everything is going to work out beautifully for you. So just hang in there. Let's go ahead and get a, a little numerology here and a couple of oracle messages. Let's see what's going to come out here. 19... 19 cycles so you have karma warnings judgment influence power 
cycles, changes, and rebirth. We just saw that. Oh boy, I got the Butterfingers. On, in this deck, this is the death and rebirth card, okay? So 1919, which would be 10 and 10, which would be the closing out of these fears. I do believe you're heading there. This says, karma will be paying you a visit. Release the need to control anything because you cannot force things to your will, okay? Go ahead and learn your lessons here. Face your fears so that you do not have to face them again in the future, Make some space for new experiences. Beautiful. All right, let us go ahead and see what else we have here. Let's see what else we have here. We've got 0505, zero, five, which is half of tens. <laughs> Unexpected shift or change. Divine intervention, absolutely. Sudden challenges, okay? Yep, something you're not expecting. It's not a big deal. There's a lot of love here. There are pleasant surprises, okay? Happiness, joy, and uh, gut feelings. Trusting your gut, taking care of yourself, trusting your higher power. This number serves as a gentle nudge for you to pursue whatever is interesting you, okay? Whatever it is you want to go after, go after it. It's possible that something could rock your boat a little bit, but you'll end up exactly where you're supposed to be, which could be having a baby sooner in somebody's arms at your new dream job or traveling abroad, okay? Let's find out what your soul wants you to know here, and then we will get you a spirit animal message. We have success. Success fills your life in ways beyond your greatest expectations. Beautiful. Let's get you a um, fairy oracle message. Look at this. Fairy lovers, new love, courtship, romance, and falling in love. Card 46, which is a 10, tells me that you have to overcome whatever it is, close the door, complete the cycle, and move forward. I'm going to look at this, and it looks like uh, it says, Oh, new love, enchanting and all-important. It is like breath, food, or water. We fall in love, and the, all the world is lovely to us. We radiate a dense kind of golden glow. Our brain activity changes. We find it hard to sleep and eat, and our chakras are wide open and spinning and spinning. Our cells sing to our beloved, and oh, how we pine for them, even to be with them for just a moment. We think of them all the time, for that is the next best thing to being with them all the time. New love can be stronger than the will to live, and finding love can give us the desire to live forever with our beloved. It is not the same as mere lust or desire. It is altogether more necessary for our existence than either. Splendid though, both of those may be. When we fall in love, we experience euphoria, bliss, and rapture on such levels that to return to a normal state seems completely wrong, unnatural, and like a denial of our love. Our chemistry changes and our dopamine levels fire up, leaving us feeling like we are about to receive the greatest gift possible, and we are. Love is sweet and powerful, and it is nectar to our very divinity. These fairy lovers here in this card have found each other. They are courting still, and they know not yet the sweet rapture of giving in to the desire, but it is coming, as is yours. There will soon be flirtation, intoxicating interplay, and a flurry of exquisite, energetic activity between you and another. You are about to be intoxicated and drink of fairy nectar and know what it is to be alive fiercely, brightly, 
Fear not that it will burn bright and brief. This flame, if you accept the cycles of magical time, could last forever. Smitten, crush, an ambrosia drinker. Now what I'm hearing here too is that this does not have to be between you and an actual person. This could be you and something that your desire, what makes you happy, a, a some sort of pursuit of happiness in your own life, whatever that means for you, okay? So you may be about to fall in love. It doesn't have to be with a person. It could be with a job, an idea, a creative process. It is most likely to be with a beautiful something that will be, you will be spellbound by. Do not fear, okay? The rapture that will come from this coming together will outweigh all of the fear that you have experienced or anticipating experiencing, all right? This is new, but it may also be the experience of the revival of a deep, fresh love in a mature relationship, a courtship, a, a resurfacing of a desire, okay? Being swept off your feet can come in any form. You will find you and your your desires are both magical beings who respond best to being outdoors, making um, fun under the trees will help you to stay in love and experience ecstatic union. A wild, free, deep, and true love is in the bud. Oh, rapture. Oh, deepest and wildest of joys. Okay? So take that as it resonates with you. If you are not seeking a romantic partner, Ship with a person that could be with a creative process where you're in alignment, you feel whole, complete, right. Beautiful message there. We are going to get you a spirit animal message. You haven't had one of these in a couple of days, I don't think. Beautiful messages for you guys. I'm so happy for anyone that is experiencing your blessings. Please claim those in the comments. Let us celebrate with you. Okay, you'll get a lot of thumbs ups or correct uh, congratulations, happy for yous. That's all we have to do to support each other. Just say how happy we are for each other. And you know, the more energy we put out like that, the more happiness comes our way. All right, let's see what we've got here. Since I'm still waiting on this, if you are interested in a personal reading, please email me. My email address is below every single uh, video. I will send you all the details that you need on how it works and how much it costs and so on and so forth. All right. That's, there it is right there. You have the black jaguar. You are an old soul. Walk through life with confidence and grace. Because you have power from beyond this world. You are divine after all. Focus on what you really want. Because you can create your dreams. You can create reality out of your dreams. In fact, if you don't have a dream, you can't create anything. That's the truth. Let's see what else we've got here. You old soul, you. We have the Puffin Partnership. I knew there was a partnership. Commitment. Contracts. Accept yourself and your colorful personality, personality just as you are. You can feel confident about being you because you are a joy bringer. You make other people happy. Go ahead and let your community nourish and protect you. If you need help, ask for help. You have that support, okay? Teamwork is what will give you the best results at this time. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And look, you've got Black Bear Guardian on the bottom of the deck. Gentle and wise protector. Give me your confidence and power. Help me protect the ones I love. Awaken my intuition and guide me. So we are going to leave that there for you. Let's go ahead and roll one letter die and see what comes out. Woo. Maddie. Felicia, Felicity, Gem, Gemma, Gail, Florida, Fleming, Mary, Rosemary, Raquel, Rachel, Redmond, 
Reggie, Reggie, Reginald, Maggie, Megan, Deacon, Dagon, Mabel, Mark, Yams, Raf Raphael, Rafe, Desi, Dale, Melinda, Ian, Edgar, Effie, and Esme, Renee, Rapunzel just came through, okay, um, Alex, Alan, Alden, Asmin, Asgard, Aquarius, Africa, Aggie, Aggie, Aji, Amy, Amalia, Amalia, and Danny. All right, that's what I've got for you guys. Until our energy crosses again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.